Hello again. Today we're going to be talking about something called logistic growth and how to work with the differential equation of a logistic growth problem. So here's the logistic equation. Here's what it's here's what it looks like. Um, it is dp dt, where p is population and t is time, is going to equal k times p times parentheses 1 minus p over l. And we need to define what l is. Um, L is going to be the carrying capacity. So it's what you might think of as the maximum population allowed um, by a certain environment. So the graph of PT looks like this. All right. And so there, it looks like there are uh, two horizontal asymptotes. So as T goes to negative infinity, um, P will approach zero, that lower horizontal asymptote. And as T approaches positive infinity, P will approach that L, that carrying capacity, that maximum population that the environment allows. So notice that the graph grows the fastest when the population is half of the carrying capacity, which I'll label as L over 2. All right, so here's an example. There's 120 antelopes living in an open area. The antelope population growth rate in the area is given by that equation right there, where t is in years, and p will obviously be the population. Okay, we're going to write p as a function of t. So we have the, the differential equation. Now I want to know what p is. And we're going to find the population after eight years, and we're going to find the time taken for the population to increase to 240. We also want to know at what time will the population grow the fastest. So there's our differential equation. The first part was to write that um, as a function p of t. So what I do is I put the whole thing over 400 um, by changing that 1 to a 400 over 400, and then I can just multiply the whole thing by that uh, 0.15p that's outside the parentheses. Then what I did was I moved everything that had p in it over to the left and um, I kept the 0.15 on the right-hand side. Okay, now I integrate both sides. Just added the integral sign there and dp on the left, and I moved the dt over to the right for that integral. So what I need to do is I used um, integration by partial fractions to be able to write that integral as 1 over p plus 1 over 400 minus p. There was a whole process there. Uh, you can watch the video on integration by partial fractions to figure out how to do that, but that is what I came up with. And so the antiderivative of 1 over p is going to be the natural log of p, and the antiderivative of 1 over 400 minus p is going to be negative natural log of 400 minus p. And the integral on the right is going to be 0.15t plus a constant that I don't know yet. Okay, I'm going to combine those two natural logarithms using my properties of natural logarithms and just divide the arguments. So it'll be the natural log of p over 400 minus p, and that will equal 0.15t plus an unknown constant. If I, um, if I undo that natural logarithm by raising both sides as an exponent of e, then I just get p over 400 minus p on the left, and I get plus or minus uh, e to the 0.15t plus my constant. If I flip both sides upside down, I get 400 minus p over p equals a constant multiple, which was, um, I've kind of taken that 1 over e to the c and written it as a big constant because everything in there was a constant anyways. So instead of writing it as 1 over e to the c, since that's just a big constant, I'm just going to call that a and I'll figure out what a is supposed to be. Um, but that e to the 0.15t now gets moved to the bottom of a fraction, so I can just write it with a negative exponent instead of a positive exponent. Okay, I know that when t is equal to 0, the population is 120. So a, um, if I solve for a, that's going to be 7 thirds. All right, and so my equation is 400 minus p equals 7 thirds times e to the negative 0.15t. Now that's still not solved for p, so I still have some work to do, but at least I've figured out what my constant is. All right, so I rewrote the left-hand side as 400 over p minus p over p, which I just changed to 1, 
and that equals 7 thirds e to the negative 0.15t. I move the 1 over to the other side by adding it to both sides. Um, and then I solve that for p, and I get p equals 400 over 1 plus 7 thirds e to the negative 0.15t. That's a bit of a complicated equation, but it is solved. P is by itself on the left-hand side, and there's an expression of T on the right. So now I can use that to solve the rest of the questions. So part B says find the population after eight years. What that means is T is equal to eight. So I'm just going to replace that T in my equation with eight. And I'll use a calculator to figure out what that is. That is 234.909. Um, obviously, I'm dealing with antelopes, so I don't need a decimal. That's going to be about 235 antelopes. Part C says find the time taken for the population to increase to 240. So that means my p-value is now 240, and I'm solving for t. So um, I go through the process of um, flipping both fractions over, multiplying both sides by 400, reducing that fraction of 400 over 240 to 5 over 3, um, subtracting 1 from both sides so that 5 thirds becomes 2 thirds, dividing both sides by 7 thirds or multiplying by 3 sevenths so that e to the negative 0.15t is 2 sevenths, then taking the natural log of both sides so that I get negative 0.15t is the natural log of 2 over 7, so t is going to be the natural log of 2 over 7 divided by negative 0.15. And on my calculator, that is 8.35, and so about 8.35 years. Years are continuous, so I can use a decimal for that. Part D, at what time will the population grow the fastest? Well, we learned earlier that a population grows the fastest when it is at half of the capacity um, of the um, population. So we, we saw that in the original differential equation, um, P was over 400, so that led me to believe that the, um, the carrying capacity was 400. But let's just kind of look and see what happens. 200 is going to equal all the stuff on the right-hand side. And so now I'm solving again, um, flipping both sides over and multiplying by 400. 400 over 200 is just 2. Uh, subtract 1 from both sides. Divide both sides uh, by 7 thirds, or multiply both sides by 3 sevenths. Take the natural log of both sides and divide by negative 0.15. And that gets me to an answer of 5.648, or 5.65 years. So that's the time that the population will be growing the fastest. All right, and that is um, logistic equations, uh, logistic differential equations. If you have any questions on that, please let me know, and I will see you tomorrow.